hey guys hope you are doing well in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a non-bootable image to a bootable image so right now if you see uh, i have a us6 image in my uh, folder so which is a non-bootable one uh, so you can make any of the image like call manager unity connection cups or uh, us6 or any other application as bootable one if it is non-bootable so the steps are very simple uh, in order to make it uh, a bootable one so let me show you uh, while booting up with this us6 image and just to show you if this is a bootable or non-bootable one so i head to the contact center uh, virtual machine go to edit and then here select this particular iso file here which is located in this particular folder and now i power on the device so when i power on the device it does not boot up further it stucks here so which means that this is a non-bootable image so what i do is i'll power off the device and then uh, there is an application called ultra iso image or ultra iso or uh, there are some other application as power iso or uh, third party uh, tools uh, like that which you can use to make the iso file is bootable so in our case we we'll use uh, ultra iso so this is the ultra iso uh, application which i'm going to use today to make the iso file is bootable so i'm going to select uh, the location here So I'm going to select the file. Now, when you open the file, this will load up with this many folders and files. So what you need to do is you need to navigate to ISO Linux, and then you need to extract this ISO Linux bin into a temporary folder. So just drag and drop this particular file. Now, what you need to do is you need to navigate to bootable, load boot file, and then select this ISO boot file which you just extracted in the previous uh, step and next step is to uh, make this for uh, make this uh, uh, option checked generate bootable in uh, bootable so now once this generate boot info table is checked now what you can do is you can save this particular file so your ISO file will be overwritten here. So now this uh, this file which we use as non-bootable now has become a bootable now. So the ISO Linux file has been embedded into this particular file and it is made a bootable now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same ISO file and then power on the virtual machine. So if you see here, when I power on the virtual machine now, now my virtual machine is powered on with and it is bootable. So if you see, it is loading up with uh, some of the information. Mm. And it will allow me now further to install the application, uh, which is a contact center application. Uh, I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you for watching.